it is Manchester United 7 Barnsley nil 7 heaven for Manchester United through to the next round of the Carabao Cup the fourth round and guess what we've scored seven goals like <laughs> never seen that before on the every turn how this is probably the most highest scoring game that we've ever seen Manchester United play for Eric Ten Hag Eric Ten Hag can you believe it in his third season you get to see Manchester United destroy and let's be honest it is a league one team it is Barnsley so it was expected for us to win at least 3-0 4-0 but let's be real we never thought we would win 7-0 not at all but we, we, we felt that, yeah, we should batter this team. And surely and truly, we did. Well, Manchester United, in terms of performance, they we performed to the standard that we was meant to perform. But again, you can always think and say, we sh should have been more, should have been a bit better. What can be, you thinking that was about, what, you crazy? We won 7-0, no, yeah, it should have been better. The football should have been better as well. I'll be really honest with you. The football could have been a bit better in terms of, the fluid passing and the pressing as well, which again is so much to work on. But to get seven goals, yeah, I'm being a bit too harsh, but again, I know my manager will probably say that they could be better. They could be better. They, the couple of things that we did as well could have been better. But eight changes, you gotta be happy with the seven goals. Manchester United put them to the sword. I'm not gonna lie to you. We put Barnsley to the sword, bruv. They got Chefed up several occasions. Chefed up. We muted them like there was just a pile of... They were a barn full of hay. And we wanted to cut some, get rid of some. Barns leap, bro. Ah. But it's good. It's good. You know why? Because it's... Like I said earlier on, it's been a long time since I've seen Manchester United score a lot of goals. And today, that happened. It is what it is. But let's talk overall because overall, in terms of the performance, that like I said before, we was in control. We had no problems. Barnsley didn't do anything. I don't even remember them taking a shot. Zero shots on target. Look at the stats. We had 25 shots against Barnsley and 13 shots on target. It was a similar to Southampton game where we had so many shots on uh, towards their goal, apart from their one opportunity. But Manchester United had up to Eric Tenok to make those changes and the players done well to come in and actually get the goal. Rashford seems to be looking like he could be coming back to his old self. Rash Spice! Yeah, man. Man tinted the hair again. He's gone back to that hair colour where he was scoring goals. Alejandro Gonacho, a brace for him. Eriksen doing his thing. Scoring even. Scoring two goals and an assist. I don't get it, bro. And Anthony even got a goal. Wow, a penny. He even cried. But hey, but going to that game first half, let's talk about the goals because, of course, the first goal, Marcus Rashford, who sets the pace up. The ball coming over the top of his head. I don't know if it was Casemiro or Ericsson who gave that lovely, delicious ball. But Rashford controlling it well, beating one man, beating the second man, and then scoring. Going through on goal to score to finish off to continue his confidence, which he made it two goals in a row. And then Manchester United conceding the pen, I mean, getting the penalty. Anthony getting his penalty, just rightfully so, saying that I'm going to take this and rifling it in the back of the net in tears because he hasn't scored for God knows how long. And he earlier on, Anthony um, released a couple of videos about what he's been going through. And of course, Eric Turner said he's a fire and he's, Anthony said he's going to show us what he's made out of. And today, he got his goal. Let's hope there's more to come from Anthony. So 80 million would be a waste of money. And then of course, 3-0 mentioned that just before half that Alejandro Gonacho. This guy keeps doing his thing. He just keeps doing his thing, man. He's just getting better and better, Alejandro Gonacho. Um, with a little toe poke, poking it in, to make it 3-0. The goalkeeper that was on loan from Chelsea, he 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 had a game that he wished. And he hopes he figured he wants to have a man in black moment. And wipe out everything that happened today, this evening. Halftime mansion at 3-0. We're saying what to ourselves. It's good. We like what we're seeing. Can we get a little bit more? We've ex we met our expectation expectation. Three goals. We all thought 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, this team, 3-0. Second half now, can we get a bit more? Imagine I gave us a bit more in the second half. 
Fourth goal coming from Alejandro Granacho. Ericsson with the assist again, finding him in a beautiful pace, curving the ball. Huh. Ericsson played so well. And it was, again, that's it before, ball over the top. All over the top. And then Granacho running into space. So much time to just finish it off well to make it 4 0. And then Manchester United said, you know what? It's not enough. There's more. Rashford, you ain't done. Rashford getting his fifth goal. Garnacho assisting him and Rashford finishing it off. Rashford in a good form now. Can he do well against Crystal Palace? But it never stopped because Ericsson said, all of you guys, young bucks, are having all the fun. Let me have a bit of a taste of glory and a taste of goal. And Ericsson got that goal. A Bruno coming on to assist him and said, my friend, let me give you the ball. Score. Ericsson finishing it off well as well. And then Ericsson making it 7 0 with his double, his brace. And Manchester United winning 7 0 full time. I'm, I have to say, I'm happy with the performance. Uh, but it, it can always be better. I'm happy the fact that we got seven goals. I'm happy that we kept two clean sheets in a row. And again, most importantly, two, I mean, back to back victory, back to back win on a bounce. We've never done that in a long time. We are inconsistent like that. So, again, happy for that. But we have to realise it's Barnsley. It is Barnsley. The true test, the real test comes this weekend against Crystal Palace. Players-wise, let's get straight into players because I put Collier, who played left-back today, who I thought done a steady Eddie job, a reasonable job at left-back. He wasn't exposed too much and done well. Agate making his debut... Did what he had to do. The guy had blood on his legs, on his on his face as well, and he kept going. He is a warrior, Manuel Ugarte. He, he is it's getting stuck into the tackles, being first to get there as well, reading the play as well. Um, we'll see more. And he only got sixty-one minutes. I'm expecting to get the ninety minutes against Crystal Paris. And of course, Casemiro, who had an excellent game, balls all over the tops, passing, defending. He was exceptional. Captain today as well. He, he again shows what he can do. He still has that class. And then we have Ericsson. Contender for also a man in the match with Casemiro. Two goals and an assist. And Rashford, and Rashford himself playing well again. These two goals. Is he back to his best? And Alejandro Ganacho again keeps improving. This guy, the sky's the limit for him. Honestly, honestly. Man of the match today has to go to Marcus Rashford. You know, I've slated him so many times, honestly. But today, I have to give him the man of the match. Well done, Marcus Rashford. You deserve it, my bro. You really deserve it. And again, I can't say anything about you today. You deserve it. You got your two goals. Your confidence is up. You played well. That's what it is. Don't give the match. I think I'm going to have to give to myself this in Marcus Rashford all the time. But again, can he keep it consistent? We shall see. We shall really see. But big up to every one of you guys that's watching. Make sure you smash that like button, share across the social media platform. Let me know who your man of the match is and let me know who your donkey of the match is. If you do have one and your thoughts on the match as well, who do you think played well? And make sure you can click on that membership button. It is what it is, guys. It is the late one. I am super tired. I need to go to bed and rest up for tomorrow. I still got to do, do some editing. But it is what it is. We'll see you. This Saturday, 4.30, Crystal Palace. Will Manchester United get the win against Crystal Palace? Will they?